Hello, this is Marco Vogt from www.houseinvestigations.com. If you want to pass the exterior lead paint clearance test, you will first have to pass the visual exterior lead clearance test. A licensed lead paint assessor will inspect the entire exterior property prior to performing any test. All bare soil must be covered with grass, mulch, stones, ivy, ground cover, or can be covered with concrete or asphalt. If the inspector sees exposed soil with a few paint chips, the exterior lead clearance test fails. If the homeowner or landlord argue that the exposed soil does not have lead content, then the lead paint assessor will take up the one laboratory sample per location. For example, he may take one sample from each side of the home and possibly one sample from a play area if bare soil exists. However, if the home has grass, concrete, mulch, and no bare soil is seen, the assessor passes the grounds visually and no samples are taken for laboratory analysis. <laughs> The assessor will visually look at the backyard, play area, shed area, and garage area. If the neighbor's garage has peeling paint chips that may be falling to the property being inspected, a visual failure may occur. The entire exterior of the house is looked at. All soffits, trim, gutters, overhangs, porches, decks, patios, rails, lampposts, garage, shed, painted swing sets, fences, and other must not have peeling, failing, or deteriorated paint. If any paint is peeling anywhere on the exterior property of the home or property, it will fail a visual inspection. When the visual inspection of the entire property passes, the assessor will take a few lead dust tests that will be sent to the laboratory. That's just, there's, that's their garden, right? Yeah, that's the, that's the garden, but it's final sided. That's okay. So I didn't see hey, I'm not going to make them get rid of their garden, right? Jeez. Good fit. The assessor will decide the number of tests needed and where to take the tests. This was a Section 8 home that was cited for peeling paint on the front porch concrete floor and for peeling paint on the back concrete steps. These were the two locations that were sampled. The homeowner was smart and installed indoor-outdoor carpeting over the entire front porch area. I tested the front porch entrance area because this is where people enter the home and potentially track in lead dust on their shoes. I also tested the back steps because this is also an area where people track in lead dust. The assessor will add a blank test or a spike test for quality control purposes and send them to the laboratory. 
When the laboratory results are obtained, the assessor will generate a passing or failing report. Thank you. This is Marco Volk from www.houseinvestigations.com. Please rate, subscribe, and watch my other videos. You can also subscribe to Marco Volk on Facebook.